Hi everybody, Richard Tromans here again at Artificial Lawyer TV. Uh, today we're doing a very special and in-depth product walkthrough of Neotologic, uh, a company that I'm sure you all know of, but perhaps don't know what it's doing today because it has evolved considerably since it started several years ago. Uh, with us to uh, tell us a bit more is Julian Ubergang, who is based in Australia. Hi, Julian. Hi, Richard. Nice to be with you. Yeah, good to have you on the show. Um, and as mentioned, this will be one of several uh, which will be focusing on Neotologic. So um, to start off with, Julian, just maybe just tell us a little bit about your role and then for people who don't know Neotologic that well, a bit more about the company. Yeah, sure. So um, I'm the managing director for the APAC region. I've been with the business for about five years. Um, I guess for the last 18 months, I've been focused on product. Um, so, and I guess that means a couple of, of different things. Firstly, um, really looking at our go-to-market strategy, so our messaging and our value proposition, and and how we're how we're taking our platforms to market, and then also um, really working on our product roadmap. Um, so, you know, working with our customers and working with our delivery teams to uh, to deliver and enhance the platform um, through additional product. And and the Osher itself, that I mean, tell us just just you know where are you now? What what is what is the company now? Yeah, so we're a, a global business. Um, we've got in, in excess of 100 clients, 50 people. Um, I guess our mission is scaling expertise through digital solutions. So really focusing on that on that you know digital uh, shop front. Um, so you know naturally you know we hear this a lot. You know, businesses, uh, legal departments are facing the, the more for less challenge. Um, we're really helping lawyers create digital solutions to help streamline their productivity. So think, um, you know, web applications that exist on the that, that exist on an intranet. Um, business people can engage with those applications, um, provide information, seek legal advice, get spe uh, um, specific output, um, and really make that that uh, legal function more productive. So, I guess triaging the routine and repetitive tasks and and allowing the the more complex to be handed off to um, to, to the lawyers. Um, we're, we're a no-code platform, so, you know, we do really focus on that ease of use elements. Um, platform is a service business, so we're, we're hosted on Azure and Amazon. Um, so we, I guess we see ourselves as powering the digital front door for legal risk and compliance teams. But let's, I mean, we've been talking, you might say, around the edges of, of the, the actual product and all products. Let's have a look at that. If you could share your screen, perhaps, and just show us through you know, give us a bit of a walk through through some of the things that Neota can do now. Yeah, so I'll just um, I'll just run you, run you through a bit of background, and then we'll talk about um, some of the new tools that we've added, and I'll I'll um, I'll give you a quick demo of those. So, I did talk about before our mission of scaling expertise through digital solution, like uh, solution, sorry. And I guess the obvious question is, well, how do we do that? Um, we do that by providing the lead, the leading no code platform for intelligent automation of expertise processes and documents. So. You know, those three pillars of the platform are really foundational to what it is that we provide to our clients. And, and I'll dive into that in a little bit uh, more detail in a moment. Um, we're not a startup, uh, as you said before. So we've been around since 2010. So we're essentially a scale up business. Um, you know, for the last four years, we've been focused on um, expansion. So we have um, um, opened our, our London and Melbourne offices and really um, built our client base in the EMEA and APAC region. So we're really servicing a, a global client base as well as our, our uh, regional um, clients. Um, you can see by some of the numbers on the screen, we've got you know, relative scale within the, within the market. Um, in fact, we had our Neota Network events a couple of weeks ago, um, and I think surprised ourselves in many ways in terms of how many attendees. Uh, we had just under a thousand. So I think the, the official count was 991 attendees, which we were really blown away by. Wasn't quite a thousand, but uh, you know it was uh, it was close enough. So you know the the ecosystem that we're building and, and have been building now for a number of years is is you know slowly but surely uh, growing. So that's that's really good to see. Um, in terms of it, I'll, I'll just kind of uh, elaborate a little bit on the three pillars of the platform and what that actually means. So um, as I said before, process automation. Um, so enabling interaction of multiple parties to achieve a, you know, a solution driven outcome. I guess a couple of examples, if you think about a, a drafting, you know, a legal drafting, so a contract uh, drafting exercise, um, 
you know, invariably there is a, a, a draft of an agreement or, a, or a, you know, a deed or something that's generated, but invariably there's, there's a, an internal review, um, sharing with a counterparty, negotiation, execution uh, processes. Um, the process uh, automation capability within our platform essentially um, in a way that you can kind of streamline and, and deliver that digital service to uh, not only customers internally, but also, um, you know, counterparties and, and people externally. Um, the second element there is the document automation layer. Um, so being able to automate, you know, documents of any kind, including, you know, PDFs and, and Word documents, which is the, is the lifeblood of a lawyer uh, in many ways. Um, so drafting agreements and deeds, uh, automation of advice, documentation, um, reports, those sorts of things. Um, and then the third pillar, which is probably the, the more well-known or, or traditional uh, pillar of the platform, which is the ex expertise automation um, layer. And that's essentially where you're you know, delivering that, that web interaction, um, you know, taking someone through a guided digital interview asking questions, uh, reasoning on the information that's gathered as part of that interview, and then producing some sort of, of output. Um, so those three uh, pillars of the platform are essentially our, our core competency. And we've really tried to reinforce that message to make it really, really clear. Um, what underpins all of that is, um, and again, it's a no-code data layer. So that no-code um, is synonymous with, with all of the elements of the platform. Um, when you're capturing data from, from a user of an application or you, you know, you're managing the various steps of a workflow, um, every interaction or every question that's answered by a user is automatically stored in a database. And again, it's that no code interaction with a database. So you don't need to um, you know, spend time interfacing with database administrators or setting up data schemas and all those sorts of things. The platform essentially takes care of that for you. Um, and that's really, really powerful because what it does is it, is it allows that data to be um, captured, reported on. Um, you can get instant metrics on, you know, how many, how long, how often, those sorts of things. Um, but because the data is essentially in a, in a you know, SQL Server database, so it's, it's available for, for other products and services to consume. So if you do have other um, data strategies or data warehouses within your, your organisation more broadly, um, and we know from our clients, both law firms and corporate legal departments, that you know data is 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 something that is is really powerful and and uh, part of you know most legal function strategic plans. So we essentially plug allow you to plug that data into that that um, that ecosystem, and you can you can leverage that in you know other systems platforms. If you've got analytics products and things that you use, um, you can leverage all of the data that's that's uh, produced automatically under the hood with. Um, with you know applications that sit in these three categories, so it really is quite powerful um, in terms of the end-to-end -end capability. Um, I'll just quickly touch on the the tools that um, that form part of the the uh, the platform. So there's a number of tools that are, that are available to our clients. Um, I'm going to show you a couple in a moment, um, which are two of our newer tools there, Canvas and Workflow. Um, Canvas is a it's a lightweight application creation tool. So it's a web-based tool. Um, it's designed to be used by a broad range of users. So, you know, minimal training, fairly easy to use, intuitive, et cetera. Um, and that's one of the new tools, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, we've also got the, the workflow module, which is another one that I'll, I'll touch on uh, in a second. Um, our Word add-in. So we have a, you know, it's a leverage legal work product in the Word environment. Um, we allow you to, um, uh, install an add-in into, into Microsoft Word, um, mark up the document or, or mark up the precedent in a way that you can ingest into the platform. Um, and that essentially allows you to, um, or allows the platform to use all of the formatting, auto numbering, fonts, uh, styling, everything that's already existing in that Word document. So you don't need to reinvent the wheel. So again, really, really powerful to deliver that end-to-end -end solution. Uh, Workbench is the administrative environment where you manage um, access and, and reporting on, on the number of uses and all those sorts of things. Um, Studio is our depth tool. So that's where you manage your integration and your really complex reasoning, et cetera. Um, the data manager, the you know, data manager I've, I've already referred to, which is our no-code um, database connection module. Um, Neota as a service is another component of the platform. Um, that's essentially a, uh, you know, if you think of in technology terms, it's a microservices layer. So it essentially allows you to create 
an application without an interface. Um, so uh, RPA sort of technology. So you can you can have services and processes running in the background if you if you want to do that. Um, and then finally, the runtime manager, which allows you to um, to create and, and manage your user experience layer. So you know, really creating that uh, slick design that uh, allows your users to be really satisfied with the solution that you're creating. Um, I'll just show you briefly a couple of the the newer products that we've created. Um, this is a product called Canvas. So this is uh, one of the, the new products that we've added this year. Um, this is essentially creating a, 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 one of those web-based applications that I referred to before. So if you look at the top of the screen here, you can see a, an entry point or a start node. Um, you can see a couple of ask nodes, which are essentially a forms with, with a series of questions. Um, what I'm doing here is config, configuring uh, a, some branching logic. Uh, which essentially determines, you know, what based on on the answer to a, a question on on the initial form, um, then you know I can um, determine a pathway through the application, and um, you can see that on the on the on the top right hand screen, you can actually hit the play button, and the application is automatically building under the hood. So as you're mapping out your logic and answering questions and and um, you know configuring the pathways through the application what is automatically generating under the hood is an application that you can run um, and um, it's all, it's all uh, embedded within that for you. Um, another tool that uh, we've added this year is our workflow module. So this is uh, again, you know, you'll, you'll notice a, a fairly similar design pattern to the Canvas product, which you saw on the previous screen. Um, this is essentially allowing you to connect multiple applications together. Uh, so whereas Canvas is, is essentially uh, creating a single application, this is allowing you to create multiple applications and link them together. Um, the horizontal lines are representing um, various parties or um, counterparties or teams within a, a business. Um, and essentially what you're doing here is you're determining, you know, based on the logic. So this is a gateway node here that I'm configuring now. Um, based on the logic, so based on, on variables or questions that were answered in, uh, in, in initial applications, you're determining the pathway through the workflow. So, you know, which, which, what are the conditions that, that uh, something needs to be undertaken or action by a counterparty? Um, what are the, you know, what, what is an email that, that uh, notifies that um, someone within that counterparty that they need to undertake that action? Um, so, as you can see, the, the design is quite simple, easy to use, drag and drop. Um, and you can configure and, and map this out um, quite quickly and easily. In fact, many of our clients are able to do this in workshops with their clients. So it really is quite an effective way of, of building both an application in a Canvas context and a, in a workflow in terms of this new workflow module context. So um, that's the workflow module. Um, just a couple of other points just to finish up on, uh, Richard. Uh, the first is, and, and you know, this is one of the, the um, the historical uh, pillars of the platform, I guess, as well, is you know, NeoDologic has always been known for its its um, you know real complexity that you can build into an application. So what you've seen there is some very simple if-then type uh, rules and logic embedded within um, Canvas and Workflow. Um, using some of our more advanced tools, you can you know, really build some quite sophisticated uh, algorithms. You know, you can you can use um, a number of different uh, logic engines, which are a part of the platform. You can even leverage third party tools. So for example, you can see on the screen there, Excel, um, you know, if you've got logic and, and, you know, usually in a commercial context, but if you've got uh, pricing information, for example, in an Excel spreadsheet, you can directly stuck that into the platform without having to recreate it. So it really is quite powerful um, under the hood. Uh, and then just finally, um, and, and, and again, this is something that we've focused on more recently based on, you know, feedback from our customers, um, you know, as, as you would appreciate, um, a, lot of, a lot of our clients have got investments in all sorts of products that they use to, to run their functions, their legal functions, their compliance functions. Um, and we have, um, you know, many connections available into those sorts of platforms. So whether it's a specific AI a product like Kira, um, CRM systems like Salesforce and HubSpot, you know, document management systems, and there's a number of those that are prevalent in the legal tech community, um, as well as the Microsoft suite. So we complement the Microsoft suite. Um, we have connectors available to uh, products like SharePoint and Teams. So, you know, certainly as part of the, 
the um, the broader solution play within a corporate legal environment or law firm. We're very capable of plugging into those sorts of products and services. So uh, hopefully that was a, a fairly uh, quick tour of the platform. Fantastic, Julian. Well, actually, I mean, there's there's so much there, isn't there? Uh, I can see why we're going to have to do several of these. Uh, but just very, very briefly, because I think we very are close to the end of this, but just, just in a couple of sentences, um, no code is something we hear a lot about. There's a lot of different companies who do no code um, solutions. Just very briefly, um, how is Myota using no code and how is it different? Uh, well, I think uh, no code, uh, probably the best way to describe how we're using no code is, is by looking at the canvas and workflow um, products that we saw before. So that, you know, th those products are not requiring you to um, program anything to, to create the, the solutions that you, you want to bring to market and bring to clients. So, you know, that's the, that's the first point. I think in answer to the question about how we're different, um, I think the fundamental elements of Neota is those three pillars that I referred to before. So processes, documents, and, and automation of expertise um, with that, that underlying data management layer. Uh, you know, we think that's the real differentiator for us, for us in the market. Um, and really the power of, of the platform is when you're using, I guess, those four components, so the three pillars and the data layer. So when you're creating uh, products that, that uh, utilise those, those four elements of the platform, you know, that's when the real power comes to bear. And I think that's what, um, you know, that's what makes us unique in the market. Awesome. Thanks, Julian. Uh, well, we'll have to leave it there for now. Uh, but as mentioned, uh, we will be doing several more of these, digging into particular parts of the platform. And uh, those will be coming in the weeks and months ahead. So we'll have to leave it there. But thank you very much, Julian. And we hope to see you very soon. Thanks, Richard. Appreciate it.